and we're going to start talking about them going fast. Here we go. Off of board. Green flag is out. Feature racing action has commenced here at the Demon. Earlier's pass control. SUNY Canton Sportsman Features is underway with Nick Kraus, the early leader. Kraus with 25 laps ahead of him, looking for 24 as he brings it across the line. He leads lap number one. So Nick Kraus leads it here. Ricky yelling second. Steven Denton trying to hold on for third as we got a couple cars bouncing off each other forward. Clark got together and Davis had to get on the binders to avoid them all. Now Root looking to the inside of the 24 of Kraus in the turn number four. Battle for the lead. Kraus at the line, but here comes Root. Root's got to turn number one. He's got the lead off of turn two. Down the back stretch. Root takes the lead. Now he's trying to use lap cars as a pick. That forces Kraus on the bottom. Halfway home, it's Root first. Second is Kraus. Third will be Yell. Ricky Yell gets a good jump on the restart. Trying to capitalize, but Kraus comes back on exit and holds on to the runner-up position. Meanwhile, Root trying to set sail here in this one. Down the back stretch into turn number three. Six laps to go this time around. Battle for third place as now Jordan Bennett gets around the 52. Root's leading, but it's disappeared. Kraus now neck and neck with Root in the one. Time winding down here. Kraus comes right back after him and takes the lead. Nick Kraus with the advantage. Then it back to third. Fourth is some vodka and fifth is Ricky L. Side by side, but bring it on down. We can see this battle all year. Root stole one from Kraus at Fulton on Saturday for the first night of the year at Brewer and coming off a turn number four. The Parrish Pistol, Nick Kraus, picks up the feature win. Root finishing second, third goes to Jordan Bennett. These cars bouncing off the wall here. Zabatka Ford, our first feature winner. Put your hands together, make it loud for Nick Kraus. Well, when he got by me on the bottom, I was kind of caught by some lap cars, and the car was tight. So I went back to my brain and said, well, the car's tight, move up. And I moved up, and boy, I found some speed, and got back by, and I was praying for no caution, and we got it, and boy, this feels really good. Couple late arrivals, we'll get their names. Green flag is out, and we are underway. Jeff Isabel Jr. And I believe uh, another Isabel in the three. As they work it here off the turn three and four, who will lead lap number one of this season? It'll be Jeff Sykes in car number 19. That's third. Both oh. off the back end of the Isabel car. That's Joe. Boom goes the dynamite. That pro race car number one really digging there off the turn four corner as him and Kenny are side by side, turning and burning. Oh, number Kenny one goes way upstairs. Makes contact with the wall and keeps Keep on going. rolling. Wow. Brian Boguette, he's trying to work his way back up from the tail end of the field. We've got five laps to go. Yeah, five more circuits around here. Boguette doing all he can to try to hustle the high side. Pick up as many spots as he can. Oh, wow. Brown spins to avoid. Oh, Jamie Brown goes around. He goes over. Shoot him up, boys. Here we go. Oh, Isabel and Sykes come together. Come off the turns down the front straightaway. It's still going to be Slikes leading the way. Isabel right there in second. Then we got Babcock. They'll bring it through three and four. Isabel dives down low. Babcock up high. Slikes is in the lead. Slikes gets the win. Babcock second. Ladies and gentlemen, your feature winner, Jeff Sykes. We knew we had to do some homework, obviously. The there's three fast cars, and uh, one got inside me, almost left the door open, but we got uh, uh, we got the job done. I got to thank uh, Lowell, uh, 
lives there, uh, Beaver River Distribution. And uh, TJ, uh, he, uh, he works his butt off night and day on this car. And uh, I can't thank those guys enough. is going to go three-wheeling down the back straightaway, figuratively and literally. Wow. So, battle for the lead, Beckler. This, now, this, well, if the vault is out, Beckler's there, and Beckler has the lead. One more circuit around. Double checkered in the air, Ray Beckler, your four-cylinder feature winner. Ray Beckler! As I was waiting for Kasha to come on, I almost lifted, but I don't know where everybody went. Ladies and gentlemen, on early pest control night, the big block modified, go green! And they barrel down in the turns, one and two in the 98. In the 42 feet neck and neck. Pat Wolf gets the bottom line working here. Down the back stretch. Jimmy Phelps goes a groove higher off at turn number four, but it's going to be all Pat Ward leading lap number one. Pat Ward, Jimmy Phelps are side by side. Larry White and Chad Phelps side by side in the turn number three. Lucky Brian, Matt Shepard, see where he is as he starts back. Now Jimmy Phelps goes to the outside, down the front straightaway. He takes the lead, going to turn number one. Power move. Hello, goodbye, new leader Jimmy Phelps. Holds on to the lead into turn number three. Can he make it stick and lead two laps in a row? Yes, he can. Here we go. Green is out. And Larry White with a better restart there. Oh, he takes contact with his teammate there at the line. Front end broke. Oh. And busted the front end, and he spins, and everyone avoids him, luckily. Bobby Bellinger down low for the three-wide battle behind the bill. That, yeah, Matt Shepard starting to work his way up, trying to get into the top five. Shepard by the... Uh... McLaughlin, he's up by Zex. He's up by McLaughlin for the top five. And they're still working in Jimmy Phelps. Right now, he's straight away ahead of second place, Chad Phelps. Jimmy Phelps has it in control, but second place is going to be a shootout to the bitter end. Three wide between three and four. Jimmy Phelps is going to get the win. Coming home second is going to be Kyle. Ladies and gentlemen, your feature winner, Jimmy Phelps. We really didn't rest. You know, we worked all winter and, uh, you know, everybody at Troyer worked really hard. Everybody at JRI Shocks worked really hard. Hale gave us, uh, Hale gives us great stuff. And I mean, he uh, he worked right alongside us all winter trying to get this thing going faster. And uh, so far, it's been pretty good. We just gotta, you know, keep doing our homework, keep, you know, keep doing our thing. It'll tighten up a little bit tomorrow night, next week. We'll see what we really got when we gotta start towards the back. But uh, I feel pretty good about it right now.